the Global Council for Tolerance and Peace launched its General Assembly and organized a high-level side panel event in the UN headquarters in New York between the dates 12th and 13th of September 2019. merciful, the compassionate excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, peace and God's blessings and blessings be upon you. It is my delight to address you on this historical day as we celebrate uh, the launching of the General Assembly of the International Council for Tolerance and Peace uh, and the headquarters of the United Nations. The GCTP delegation had several bilateral meetings with representatives of several UN organizations. After the launching of the GCTP General Assembly in the presence of several dozen participants, diplomats, UN representatives, university leaders, and civil society organizations, the high-level side event, Best Practices in the Promotion of Tolerance Around the Globe, witnessed speeches by the esteemed members of the GCTP delegation, followed by a panel discussion at the premises of the UN headquarters. The high-level side event was convened on the sidelines of the United Nations High-Level Forum on the Culture of Peace and was co-sponsored by the permanent missions to the UN of Argentina, Malta, Senegal, and the United Arab Emirates. The event was opened by a speech by the president of the GCTP, His Excellency Ahmed al Jirwan, who pointed out that the international community is in dire need today to intensify global efforts to spread the culture of tolerance and values of peace worldwide and focus on promoting dialogue, understanding, tolerance, and acceptance between communities. The panel event, which followed the speeches, represented a platform for the participants to discuss best practices in spreading and raising the culture of tolerance and values of peace around the globe. Um, it's symbolism as an international organization which uh, accommodates all the countries of the world. I would like to express our thanks and gratitude to all the permanent missions of the Council who succeeded in holding this successful. The objectives of the panel discussion were spreading awareness of the need to build inclusive and tolerant societies, discussing the challenges to international cooperation, to promote the values of tolerance and acceptance of others between communities, and highlighted the importance of media, information, and communication technology, and educational institutions in this area. Thanks and gratitude to the ITP, IPU and our, our Excellency President Forcom for participating in our activities and I also wish to commend the activities of the President and members of the IPU who contributed in launching this General Assembly. The President of the GCTP, along with the President of the IPTP, the President of the Interparliamentary Union, diplomats of countries, representatives of universities and civil society organizations, signed the Declaration of the General Assembly of the GCTP. The Declaration of the General Assembly is a momentous step for the organization as the signees and the witnesses officially took a step in reaffirming the values of tolerance and peace at all levels in the local and global communities to work towards creating a world of peace in the time when acts of violence, terrorism, racism, marginalization, intolerance and discrimination are increasingly growing. My thanks also go to uh, not only to those who are attending our session today, but all those who provide the support and promise to cooperate with the International Council for Peace and Tolerance, be them heads of states or ministers or those responsible in, in international and regional organizations, notably the United Nations. Uh,